Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about all the upgrades and mods I made to my Kramer Beretta Special. They're all relatively inexpensive and some of them are even free. So let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, I have videos on the hardware such as the tuners, the pickup, the tremolo. Uh, I did not do videos on a couple of the minor things or the free stuff. So let's cover those first, the things you haven't seen or heard of yet. The easiest one was the GraphTech nut. It was sixteen dollars, I think, maybe fifteen, but um, the old nut just pops right out. You know, razor blade slice here and here to loosen the glue, and a little bit across the back, tapped right out. Put the new one in, works great. No adjustments to the nut were needed. It's a perfect fit. Love it. Now, the pickup ring on these is angled. I have flattened mine out. Now, all that required with some sandpaper. It took me about five minutes with 100 grit sandpaper and then I think I took 800 or 1000 and knocked off the burrs. So now my pickup does not sit at an angle, it sits flush and much better for getting, for dialing in your sound. That was a real problem I had, but not as big as the next one. Originally the volume pot on this just, it had no roll off. I mean it works fine as far as up and down, or it's not smooth, but it did not, there was almost no noticeable audible roll off. Now, what I did was on the back of the pot, there was a capacitor or a resistor, I think it was a capacitor, it was down here between the two lugs, and I'll put up a picture of it here in a moment, but I cut it out and that immediately cleared that problem up. A five second thing, flashlight and a pair of tin snips, Cut it off above the lug on the volume pot and boom, it works great. So we have the volume pot that I cut the capacitor off of and now have the roll off that works great. We sanded down the pickup ring with 100 grit sandpaper and used around 1000 to knock off the burrs. So now the pickup sits uh, nice and flush for easy adjustment. We have a guitar fetish crunchy pat humbucker. We have a Wilkinson vintage style full block tremolo. We have a GraphTech nut. We have all parts, mini locking tuners. Now these have been a little bit hard to find lately, um, so I don't know how, if you'll be able to find them at all, honestly, except for maybe all parts. I haven't seen them at any of the retailers since about a week after the video. But that's pretty much everything we did. We did I did not do anything to the output jack. It is still the standard output jack. It was It's working fine. I see no reason to modify that. And I didn't change the strap buttons because they're nice. They already have the big lip on them, so they hold well. But tuners, nut, pickup, pickup ring adjustment, the tremolo, and also the modification to the pot. So all stuff that made this an extremely, I mean, it was already a nice guitar, but it made it extremely nice for the money at this point because these were all inexpensive mods. That's important. Free for the tone pot, free for the pickup ring, cost of the new pickup. If you, I'm just experimenting with the sound. There was nothing wrong with the pickup that was in here. It would work fine. Um, I think it was like $25 for the, maybe $35. don't remember. You have to watch my video, but it was like $25 bucks for the tremolo. The tuners were on sale for like $25. You know, these nuts are regularly around $15. So it wasn't terribly expensive to upgrade this and make it even better. Because it's already a very solid feeling guitar. I mean, the neck and body on these are great. The action on this and the fretwork is just, it's really nice. So these are a great platform to build off of. Okay, so that's all my mods to the Kramer Beretta Special. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this kind of content, please click like and subscribe. Click the bell icon to stay notified. Leave me some comments and suggestions. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, keep playing.